Hello guys, it's a pleasure to come your way again and I sincerely welcome you back to my channel, Deepa G. Skoda. Yes, you are welcome. How are you all doing? I'm sure everybody is doing fine. Yeah, it's another day, another time to be alive. So you welcome Deepa G. Skoda, a channel you can be guaranteed to have the very best of the best, the very best of the best. A channel that can guarantee you fun to have, you have fun unlimited. No dumb moment whatsoever. So it is the right place to be. Deeper gist corner. Deeper gist corner. You are welcome. So if you have come in for the first time, please do the needful. Can you subscribe to this channel? And I will be glad you do. And also press the notification bell so that. Uh, Anytime I post a video, you will be aware of it. Thank you so very much for doing that. I also want to appreciate all my subscribers, returning subscribers, the old and the new. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for standing by every moment. And uh, can you please watch this video to the very end? Give me a thumbs up. And please. Help me share this for I mean share this uh video as much as you can. I will appreciate it so very much. <clears throat> so let's go to what we have for the moment. Atrocities committed by suspended suspended central bank of Nigerian governor Gov Godwin Emefiele. It's no longer news that uh, President uh, Bolatinubu has suspended the CBA governor, Godwin, immediately. Uh, it may fail it. <laughs> finally met what appeared to be his Waterloo when he was suspended this past Friday. You know, the presidential hammer landed so hard on his head, this shiny head, hammer head, hammer, strong hammer, handed, headed, landed, 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 landed on his head. Well, it's not it's not a shocking development, of course. Bola Tinumbu, the president, dropped the axe on Godwin Bevili, largely due to the excruciating effect. Of his many ill thought out, poorly executed fiscal and monetary policies that he made on on Nigerians, and uh, we've had a, we've had a lot of reactions. A lot of reactions have trailed the controversial CBN governor suspensions so far, suggesting that President Tinubu may jolly well have ended the reign of the economic peril and wanting financial servitude most Nigeria was subjected to in the last decade because CBN governor Godwin Emefiele was in charge. I want to quickly bring us ten reasons that have been highlighted. The atrocity this man caused 10 reasons Nigeria may never forgive him. Number one, Naira plunged to an, to an all-time low under Godwin Emefiele's leadership, the nation currency so greatly the Naira which was exchanging for 190 Naira to one United States dollar before he assumed office in 2014 sank oh my god to all time low trading at over 750 naira at the parallel market as of this this last friday number two godwin mefili Encourage forest arbitrage 
and round tripping. This is against advice by experts, including the INF, IMF advice against it, and even the World Bank that neither should be allowed to find its true value. Unfortunately, the suspended CBN governor spent trillions of Naira trying to defend the currency, but to no, to no success. Emifili created a window for importers and exporters to assess dollars at subsidized rate in a bid to keep inflation at bay, while the answer to whether the intervention was successful or otherwise is still blowing in the wind. All is no doubt, however, is the fact that the, the price is discrepancy Cre is created in the market. Number three, reason why it may not be forgiven. Forgiven. A bank crypto trading, crypto trading was banned by this man, Godwin Emefiori. Arguably, the biggest blow this man dead the young population was his decision to prohibit banks from dealing in cryptocurrencies or facilitating payment for cryptocurrency exchanges in Nigeria in 2021. Anyway, he went away to justify his decision to ban cryptocurrency-related transactions in the country. He claimed that digital currency was being used for money laundering and terrorism, adding that the use of cryptocurrency in Nigeria is a direct contravention of existing law. Mm. Okay, number four, he accused a website of causing Naira devaluation. Perhaps the most ridiculous act from an APEX bank governor anywhere in the world. Frustrated by his failure to rescue the falling Naira in September 2021, immediately accused Abu Kiu Kifrix of economy sabotage. Also, he introduced Naira recoloration and cashless policy. Really, from his failed presidential bid, he may feel he decided to get back at the politicians who he believed thwarted his dream and so the dummy of Naira redesign and cashless policy to the former president. Anyway, this is these are some of you know atrocity committed. Let me know what you think about these friends. I'll be glad if you can make comment. So till I come your way next time with another video, take good care of yourself. And I say to you, bye, bye.